This is the Hyperspace Podcasting in the 25th Century. Welcome in, podcast pioneers, to the Hyperspace Podcasting in the 25th Century, the interweb's first and still only podcast. My name is Jared. My name is Matt. My name is Mike. Guys, season five is upon us now. It's here. Five. Can you believe it? Five seasons? Well, it was part five when the Halloween franchise started to go downhill. Yeah, and don't forget Star Trek five. (laughs) Star Trek. We've said it before. Star Trek five has some of my favorite Star Trek moments. So... What this about, will probably were our worst season with some of my favorite moments. So. What about Rocky Five? <sighs> yeah, that, that's Not just it. Hey, you knocked him down. Why don't you try knocking me down? Try now? Knocking me down now. Well, maybe he'll do a director's cut on that one too. And uh, hey, we'll even, see. Even better. Yeah, that's coming soon. So you know what I love about this time of year in the 25th right. century, guys. This is the holiday season. You know, we're we're kicking off with season five, the holiday season, and. I have to tell you from last year, if you guys listened to our, our podcast last year, you found out that Mike was giving 21st century candy away. Uh, He smuggled some chocolate up and, you know, he was causing some rampant food poisoning in the 25th century. And as a result, (laughs) he was, yes. Chocolate is now a banned substance. Thanks for nothing, Mike. It's almost a narcotic here in the 25th century. I have some good news though. What do you got? I've been making some chocolate in my toilet. Yeah, well, you know, just like prison wine, that that toilet chocolate, uh, it has some some currency value some places. But uh, why don't you keep that so to yourself? Don't come lucky, knocking, in, don't come trick or treating on my tube. Some lucky trick or treaters are gonna <laughs> get some get some baby Ruths. Yeah. Baby Ruth, what's up, oh, guys? Boy. What have we been doing for our little hiatus here? Well. I don't know. You know, I've I've seen a couple movies since uh, since I had started. Yeah, what'd you say? Um, oh, really? That good? That? Huh? <laughs> I'll give you a hint. Oh no, no, I saw um, I saw Shang Chi, and I really liked it. Oh, I thought yeah, it was that... real lot of fun. I heard that. Yeah. I heard it was pretty good. I didn't. Yeah, that was a surprise. Yeah, it was fun, and um, I saw the new Bond movie. Oh yeah, which. Uh, I need you guys to see that because I think we need to talk about it. Yeah, soon man. it's on the list. Yeah, look, I've got Bond, I've got Dune. And, oh yeah, uh, see, and I want to see the new Halloween too. Just what Mike said, I want to see the new Halloween. It's on the list. Well, we've got there, there's a busy few months coming up. You yeah. know, I think um, I think we're going to have to talk about the director's cut of Rocky Four. Yep, uh, that's going to be a babbling with Balboa special edition. <laughs> Of course, we've got Dune coming out, as you said, uh, and um, we got Book of Boba Fett coming up in December. So um, we got a full plate here. That's why we took the last few months off. We're resting up. Yeah. Well, you We're know, we, also get... have a, we have a good Halloween special coming out, too. Oh, yeah. We're not going to we? spoil that. Yeah. yeah. We're not going to spoil it right now. Oh, but... yeah. yeah. Okay, now I remember. Season You're five. Gonna... Is, is, we have a lot of great stuff in season five. We've been planning this out. Yeah. We've been talking about it. We've saved some of the uh, the best stuff, not for last. No, for but first. For, for first in fifth place season? That doesn't matter. But um, <laughs> Mike, what about you? What have you been uh, up to? Well, something, I don't know. I'm sure I've mentioned this before. I've been, you know, we talk about my odysseys. I've been going through the original Star Trek show, and I've just been, I've been enjoying the heck out of it. I'll be mm. honest with you. Every time I watch that show, it just solidifies it as being my favorite. And uh, when I, there's a companion book that actually Jared turned me on to called um, uh, to Bowling These Go. are the Voyages. These are the Voyages. Yeah, there's another one. But yeah, what was it called? The these are the Bolians? <laughs> but uh, they go through a, like a really comprehensive breakdown of each episode. So it's been kind of fun. Yeah, that uh, book, it's like each episode, like they give the budget for the episode. Yeah, they like tell budget you. Budget sheets. Well, they tell you just what who had the idea, who mm. wrote it, who rewrote it, who re, 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 rewrote it. They talk about the pre-production, the production, the post-production. And it's just, you get like a really lot, like uh, the last episode I watched was Devil in the Dark, which <clears throat> it was funny when I was watching it, there's this shot, this wide shot of Kirk 
you see the back of Kirk standing in front of the Horda with Spock in the distance. And I went, oh, that's not Shatner. That's, you know, and I thought it was kind of odd because Shatner, you know, isn't one of those actors who bolts when he uh, doesn't have to do a close up. He usually sticks around. But then I read that uh, that was the episode when they were filming that his father died unexpectedly. Hmm. So he left production. So they used his stand in, which who is actually, uh, I guess it's Ensign Leslie was Kirk's stand in. Sure. He was one of the security guys and he was featured prominently in the episode. I have to watch it. How close was he in the shot? I mean, it was it obviously it's, not? It's like almost a full shot, a full wide shot of him. Mm-hmm that you see the back of him and it's it's pretty obvious it's not him well let's be honest star trek never really did try to hide now, their stunt doubles or the- yes <laughs> oh no that, oh no but uh this was his actually his lighting double which is actually <laughs> different yeah but uh so yeah and i've been reading the old gold key star trek comics which are just really those are bonkers those are really a lot of fun the, the there's people- actually s- some good stories in there too, but, but they're the not people, canon the people who wrote the, these comic books they came out concurrently with the show and the people who wrote them had never seen the show quite obviously. <laughs> there was actually an issue I read where Yahora is white. <laughs> they colored her white. So that was really funny. Yeah. She's white. And the enterprise is always like going through the atmosphere with it's with like rocket flames coming out of its nacelles. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. It's pretty, that's funny. It's, and it's and pretty I've awesome. been playing, uh, uh, I have to mention, I started my brother actually turned me on to a God of War, the 2018 one for the PS4, mm. which is kind of like an open world type game. But uh, I think uh, after playing that, I'm going to switch to the PS5 after that because the game's really fun. I highly recommend Did it. You, do you have a PS5? No, I have PS4. But when I when I get okay. the next generation, I, instead of the Xbox, I'm probably going to get... Well, I am going to get the PS5. So, that's interesting that you bring that up because you know, Christmas is right around the corner and my mm. wife and I were debating, do we get like a real gaming system for my son? You know, he's six years old. He plays like on the computer. He plays on his iPad and he has a Nintendo switch and he loves the Nintendo switch, but he's like obsessed with all these other games that he can't play obviously on Nintendo. So we pulled the trigger on an Xbox X you, you actually, you found one? I found one and I, well, we ordered one and I'm hoping it arrives. I, you know, it's, it's from, you know, someplace in Missouri, Bob's Garage Mart, you know. I'm, uh, no, I'm I don't wary know. of those. I, I stick with the major retailers. No, it was, it, was a real, it was a real retailer. I'm, I'm, I'm kidding. But no, we, we found one. It was hard to find. It was, it was very yeah. hard to find. We looked for a long time and actually we're going to get a PS5, but they were impossible. Yeah, PS5s are really They were impossible to get. So, you know, we took out a credit loan and uh, <laughs> sold some appendages and organs and got an Xbox X. Yeah. So well, there's a new uh, God of War game coming out. And that's another reason that I want to get the PS5. Because after playing this, the graphics are just Well, beautiful. you know, that's what I was going to say. It's like, you know, I, I was watching a lot of YouTube videos on you know, both PS5 and, and Xbox X stuff. And I'm thinking back to when I was his age. And that's about the age when I think we had the first, the Atari 2600 at my house. And yeah, that was so much fun. And, you know, graphics were what they were they were breakthrough revolutionary they didn't exist before that so of course they were amazing but to see what these gaming systems can do now is just like uh, it's, it's just unbelievable i don't know sick. why would you ever want to like leave your your house it's like you're in other worlds like legit it's absolutely bonkers it's nuts yeah. i mean yeah. it's crazy so i mean i'm looking forward to you know to playing by the this. time by the time your sons are you know well into their 20s and 30s they're gonna have holodecks it's crazy i mean they're just gonna have holodecks well with the technology they have in like the mandalorian the way they shoot that yeah that kind of that kind of you know environment that they can create just in front it's 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 gonna be crazy pretty cool stuff i also saw the new halloween so that's getting some pretty good reviews it's uh it's interesting okay i don't want to i don't want to say too much but it's definitely a middle movie so mike everybody is a huge fan if you've listened to our podcast you know that mike's a huge fan of the halloween series most of the movies uh now this is funny so i was out and about today and i was waiting for um i was waiting for my daughter my daughter had to go to the doctor today and i'm sitting in there and there was a woman about maybe a little younger than i am and she was talking about her father really yes (laughs) 
her father, who's an elderly man, obviously, who is a huge fan of the Halloween series and was raving about this movie. In fact, he's like watched it like five times already. So that right there piqued my interest. Like, I got to see this movie now. Like okay. the, old pe- the old people like this movie. I gotta f- Here's my suggestion. Yes. Watch Halloween and Halloween 2018. Just to catch up and to put it in perspective? Yes. Refresh? Because, yes, because uh, this isn't really a spoiler, but this one actually overlaps with the last one. Hmm. So you liked it? I, I did. You don't know like yet, I, do you? You're it's digesting? A mi- it's a middle movie. Hmm. That, and so it's it's going to be like Last Jedi type thing where, oh, you know, bringing that's, it home. Those are, are they gonna, that's, those are red flags. <laughs> no, well, what I mean is the next one's going to have to bring it home. I see. Well, so yeah, I, you I, said it's like Back to the Future 2 into your Facebook write up because. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I, you have I, to see Back to the Future 3. There's one, something I want to say. I, it, do you care if I say it? Is it like a big deal? Okay. It, wait, should we, we do a spoiler, spoiler alert? alert? Is spoiler okay, yeah, alert? do do spoiler. It's not really a spoiler. It happens at the Brent beginning. Or it's in the first. Alert. Alert. Okay. Okay. Alert. So spoiler when, alert. When I was rewatching to blah, 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 blah. while I was rewatching Halloween 2018, Will Patton's character, Will Patton's in it, and he he talks about I was there the night we captured Michael Myers. He's talking about the first Halloween. The first movie. And I thought, man, that would be something really cool to watch, but we'll never get to see it because it was 40 years ago. Well, by gosh, if the Halloween Kills does not open up on that Halloween night and they got Michael Myers looking like Michael Myers from the first movie and they have, by gosh, Donald Pleasance in it. And I'm telling you that... Like like a deep faked? Dude, Hmm. I... Like, well, they, the first time you see him is a wide shot. And I thought, well, they've cut, they've taken him from the other movies and put him in this scene. That, that's, that's how real it looked. But then they took a close up of his face. And I mean, the voice isn't 100%, but I mean, everything, it was, uh, it was startling. It's amazing. Yeah, so they're, it, they're getting there. So it really, it was so great to see Loomis in the movie like that because he's an you know he's a, such an important part of that series and the fact that they were able so this movie is 100 fan service I will say Michael Myers is a tank <laughs> in this one so uh but uh and they do a lot of callbacks to the first movie so you know that's why I say if you if you watch this one you got to catch up you know, got to see. What well, I'm, I'm going to pick up from where you left off, Matt. You were just talking about the old people like it. Okay, so when I saw James Bond, I was by about 25 years the youngest person in the theater. Really? Because I saw a matinee, and it was all people oh. in their 60s and 70s. Like the bus rolled up and let them go. Yeah, out and yeah, watch movie. and and every one of them at the concession stand say, "Well, you know, I saw." I saw Dr. No in the theater when it came out and you know, they were all talking, they've seen every bond and everything. Sure. And, um, you know, Mike told me something interesting about his father. Yeah. His My father, dad's a, a lifelong bond fan. Yes. And, um, Mike, what do you, what do you want to tell me about what your father said about it? Well, okay. First of all, I want to say he was super stoked to see this movie. Mm-hmm. In fact, he, does loved- he like Daniel Craig? He, he thought the way the last one ended was one of the best endings for a James Bond movie of all time. And he just thought that was the coolest thing he ever saw. He says, I think this is going to be the best Bond movie ever made. That's what he said going into the theater. So he called me and he goes, he goes well, I saw it. I said, well, what'd you think? He goes, it sucked. Really? <laughs> and I said, oh, really? And I said, well, did you just hate it completely? And then it's like he thought about it and he said, no, he goes, it was worth it was worth the price of the ticket. He just didn't like the ending. He said when it ended, he went, what? That's it. So I hope that doesn't give anything away. I haven't seen it yet, so I don't know what he's referencing. I haven't seen it this week. Yeah. 
And but he he was very very disappointed with the ending, and he uh-huh. thought it was he thought it was too long. Hmm. Well, yeah, I, I'd say sixty percent of James Bond movies are too long. But um, I I think I think when I first saw it, it was like eating this this very huge delicious meal, and it was great. But then after those big meals, you get a stomach ache. I think I've got a little bit of indigestion. And well, it's funny. I want to actually want to watch Halloween Kills again. Okay. No, I mean, I, listen. <laughs> I'm, I'm using that a contrast in like, I feel like I need to, to see it again. Okay. Because there's so much going on in it. Well, I, I'm going to see this Bond again because Terry wants to see it. But um, <laughs> it, it, it is going to prove divisive. And um, I don't know how i feel about it quite yet i think it's a great movie i mean the action is off the scale and um for daniel craig's final james bond movie um he he is a he continues to be a fantastic james bond i mean i think we all like daniel craig in the role Mm -hmm. and one of the things leading up to the movie is like oh you know he's going to be emasculated he's going to be you know this this you know, this, this shadow of himself. And that's not the case at all. He did not get the Luke Skywalker treatment from last Jedi. Like, yeah, he, 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 he he maintains his dignity and he remains James Bond, but there are elements of the movie that people are just going to have problems with. Yes. That's kind of what I heard. I mean, I'm still thrilled to see it i want to go see it so wait craig took over his bond in what oh five yeah his, his first one was oh six oh so, okay oh six so that's what 15 years is bond yeah right so how long was roger moore bond for from 72 to 85 okay so 13 years well so, keep in mind this last craig movie was delayed by almost two years yeah it's true so I mean he's he's put a pretty good average run in that on the bonds here, you know. Yeah, P- Pierce had four and Craig had five. But Pierce, they came out pretty quick. They were pretty fast to to roll those movies out. Yeah, within a few years. So but you know, I, Daniel Craig is my favorite bond. I mean, he, he's flat. I mean, even though Sean Connery is always gonna be, you know, the quintessential James Bond, I, I think mm-hmm. what they've done with the Craig movies mm-hmm. is just is it's just next level stuff. And I think it's the kind of movie, the kind of bond movie that they had to make coming off the Jason Bourne series and all the, you know, Batman begins was a huge influence on the, the decision to reboot bond in that way. Yeah. I mean, it's good things happen from, you know, that's good money chasing good money in my opinion, right there. You know, I think it's, it's a good trend what they did. It, it was interesting because if they just came out with like another bond, if Daniel Craig had taken over the role and just walked into a bond and just movie, pretended he was Pierce Brosnan still never would have been as, as interesting as it was. No, I mean, and the, interestingly enough, you know, they held over Judy Dench as M, which yes. she was a fantastic M. Yeah, I agree. But, but she, she was almost playing a different character in the Craig movie because she's not the M from Pierce Brosnan. Mm-hmm. You know, she's the same actress playing the same role, but she's a different person. Yeah, it's, I look forward to, to deep diving in this movie. We'll yeah, do a whole episode um, on it. And yeah, if you guys it see it, uh, well, let's let me know and we'll talk about it. It's interesting to note before we move on that Craig is the only Bond actor who knew going into this movie, No Time to Die, that this was his last Bond. Yeah, but I wasn't the last. It always seemed like every time one came out, it was like, well, they don't know if he's coming back. Yeah, but he knew, like he he knew this is going to be my last one. So this is it. And all the other actors, they they found, you know, they either quit between movies mm-hmm. or you know, Pierce Brosnan found out in the press release <laughs> that, uh, for Daniel Craig that he was fired. Is that, is that what happened? So, yeah. So, <laughs> it, but he's so, so he's that's, the only one to, to rough. know. Why, why'd they do him that way? I mean, that's he rough. Was a, he was a great, <laughs> with the exception of the last one he made, which was complete oh, yeah, garbage. Was 
but I mean, his his aren't that bad. He I was mean, a good. I mean, there was nobody else at the at that time who well could you step know, into that role. Roger Moore was supposed to do the Living Daylights. No, which my God, he, was, he stepped what? away. He was too old. I, I know why he stepped away. And, and Roger Moore. The more you learn about Roger Moore, the more you like the guy too. I mean, he was just a true gentleman. You know. Yeah, and, I, I've seen some interviews with him in recent days where, you know, he he actually talked about Daniel Craig and. And he was very gracious. He's like, he's a fantastic bomb, you know, and he was saying all this nice stuff and Daniel Craig was reacting to it. He's like, yeah. man, Roger Moore is just like the biggest sweetheart ever. So, yeah. It, so James Bond as a series is something we should probably just talk about someday. But um, yeah, when you guys see the new movie, let's, uh, let's all chat about it. So I, I think, there's something that happened recently that I think we should discuss, but I think the way we should do it guys is we should get a little random. Random access memory. Now in this week's random access memory, we're going to talk about something here. Interestingly enough, last Saturday night, as we record this, I was sitting at a dinner table in the magic kingdom at walt disney world and checking my phone and it said mike doyle has posted a video and i was like huh what's this i open up facebook and there's mike doing a one chip challenge all right what are we doing okay. the one chip challenge he is only i want to <laughs> oh there oh, it is man look at that I've I've seen the the one chip challenge quite a bit now on social media, and it always looks outrageously painful. So, what, what, okay, Mike, I have tell to, them tell them what this is about. Well, why'd you do it? First off, you know why I did it. I did it because um, I, I wanted to create a memory with my my boys. Fair. Okay. Can I do it? No, you can't. So I figured it'd be something because they we'd watched a couple on YouTube, and I thought so yeah, like I throwing should. a baseball outside or yeah, yeah, a thought, memory of blood and diarrhea. <laughs> yeah, I should. <laughs> so, um, so I had I, I remember like a few couple months ago I was at a gas station and they had one, and I thought, man, I should get this. And Always smart to buy gas station food. And uh, I went back and they were sold out, and so I was looking on Amazon and Amazon was selling this one for eighteen dollars. Oh, what? And uh, $18. yeah. And I was like, well, you know, it'd be kind of worth it, I guess. So um, I was at Kroger and they had them for six bucks. Oh, wow. And, and I had the boys that night and I was like, all right, I'll, I'll, I'll do it. I got it. And I, I told them. Did they know what it was? Vision disruption. What's, what's guts? What's get, what's gut slash? Uh, I guess it hurts your stomach. Maybe I don't want to do this. Yeah. I they said, knew about I, it? Yeah, they knew what it was. <laughs> and so um, I came home and they're like, you know, of course they're like, well, I want to try it. And I'm like, no, you can't Ooh, try it. I don't know. Uh, there's like an age restriction when I went to buy it. You have to be 19 to purchase it. So, um, so yeah, that, I got it because basically I wanted to do something with the boys and that would be memorable. And um <laughs> yeah it was pretty memorable <laughs> oh man do it eat the entire chip wait as long as possible before drinking or eating anything post your reaction on social media with one chip challenge there's the package i'm scared why don't you walk us walk us through the the whole process here it's like every other video you see, I get the box, I opened it up, I took the chip out, I made sure I had a, like a, a damp paper towel mm. near me and a dry one because, you know, I don't want to like rub it in my eyes. Here it is. So, you ready? I'm not. I, I don't want to I, I don't want to see you get Mortal Kombat fatalities. All right, I'm not going to let it touch my lips. I'm just going to eat it. Ready? I was making sure the boys... Do they give you directions? Uh, yeah, they tell you... Um, they tell you what to expect. Um, you know, I had a cup of milk sitting there next to me. 
uh, Seth was was um, standing next to me. David was trying to run the camera. This may cause dangerous stuff. What's it say on the sign? Uh, vegetable. And, well, <clears throat> David, you, you've tilted it so it's not got me in the shot. What's funny is if you watch the video, David, it says at one point <laughs> that you could lose your vision. Yeah, <laughs> round three is vision. <laughs> disruptor <laughs> so there's a uh, spicy punch scorpion sting vision disruptor gut slash and then roast it hmm. and uh david just kept i mean when you watch the video you can listen to him he keeps going he's like, like how oh. many fingers yeah how many fingers am i holding up and he's like i don't i don't want you to do it because i don't want you to stop being able to see me vision disruptor would you guys be mad if i didn't do it Yes, they're mad. They're I, I, I wouldn't be mad because, because I don't want to go for the rest of the day without you seeing me. Now, did you have like, did you eat dinner first and have like a full stomach or? Uh, I had eaten dinner earlier. Stomach? I had to have dinner like probably like an hour or so. Do, do they have a recommendation on what you, you should know what? do? I don't think it does actually. Because <laughs> I don't think I'd want to eat that on like an empty stomach. Oh man, no way. Well, no way. I, I didn't have an empty stomach. Okay. So, um, okay, so yeah, I took out uh, the chip and it's like almost black. And what, um, what it tastes like? Nothing. It tastes like nothing. Oh, no, no, I can't. Don't let it touch your tongue. Oh, is it spicy? Is it spicy? It has no taste. It's not like eating a Dorito or something. No, nothing. Mm. It's, it's like, uh, it was a description Matt used, and I can't remember. Do you remember? Hey, Matt nailed no. it. Crunchy it. death papyrus. Yes. Papyrus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, papyrus. So, um, so you know, you eat it, and then you know, obviously, it starts to burn. Vision disruptor. And um, was it like it right away? It burned like right away. It's a, it it starts pretty quick. This spicy? No. Can you see me? And then, of course, it elevates and gets worse. And I'm drooling. My mouth is drooling. And I'm, if you if you watch the video, you'll see I have my mouth open because I'm trying to let air in. Can you see me? How many how many fingers am I holding up? One. How many fingers am I holding up now? Five. Right. At the same time, I know I'm being recorded, so I'm I'm not like trying to keep like, your composure a little bit. I'm trying to keep my composure. Right. Listen, nope. I'm listen, holding up seven. Listen. Dad, is it spicy? Yep, it's spicy. <clears throat> it's starting to burn my mouth. Oh! And it's interesting. I thought I was doing a pretty good job, but, you know, people were like, oh, my gosh, watching that was just painful, you know? And I was like, okay. So I guess uh, I went for five minutes because there's the challenge is if you can go, like, five minutes. Are you feeling pain? Is your <clears throat> face starting to burn? Uh-uh. Uh... -uh. uh you know, there's like different levels. I don't have the fold out on me. So I decided to go for the five minutes and um, I finally drank the milk. I was like, okay, I'm just going to drink the milk. So you made it five minutes. Yeah. Now it was uncomfortable. He's crying. You might, you might want to uh, drink some milk. <sighs> let, let me see this. Five minutes, 30 minutes. Oh gosh. Let me see Look this. at his eyes. He's crying. He's literally <sighs> crying. One hour. Five minutes, powerless, 30 minutes, supercharged, 10 minutes, powerful, one hour, invincible. But I, I wouldn't say it was unbearable. I mean, was it legitimately like getting worse and worse and worse? Look, da Dad, David, come here, look. He's I actually... See. Are you okay? Seth, stop bending my head back. As it went, or did it like plateau out and it's just like you're in just a, yeah, a plateau definitely. pain? After about five minutes, I say it, it just kind of plat. It just was constant. Maybe mm -hmm. that's a good, good way to put it. And then I drank <clears throat> the milk. Did, Matt, do you feel your jaw coming off your body? I think I'm about to drink some milk. No, I it's don't. It's starting to get into my stomach. Oh. No, 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 I'm not happening. That means you're. You have to go invincible. That means there could be a. That, that, that means there could be holes inside of your stomach. And then it subsided, and I was like, "Okay, what?" Well, okay. So the milk helped helped right away. Yeah, yeah. So, so 
you know, it's interesting. Uh, I'm sorry, go on, go on. No, no, go ahead. I was, you know, one of the things that a lot of people don't know, everyone goes for the milk, right? Milk is like that kind of like, you know, hot pepper, you drink the milk and any of that stuff. But what works faster is a pack of sugar. Sugar, sugar will, packet? Yep. Will almost yeah, I've heard that instantly before. take it well, out completely. I think what I did later helped because um, I'll get to that. So then about 20 minutes later, mm. okay, so our plan for the evening was we were going to watch a movie. And we're, we're going to get some milkshakes and we we're going to watch a movie. That's sort of our Saturday routine. So about 20 minutes later, I'm sitting there, I'm playing a game before we go. I think I, the boys were taking their showers and then I could feel it hit my stomach. And I was like, okay, well, it's hitting my stomach. Could you feel it like going down like your no. esophagus? Mm -mm. Okay. Mm -mm. No. But you <laughs> so knew it was in there. So I knew when it was in my stomach and I'm like, okay, so I get up, I forget what I was, I had to do something. Crap your brains I, out. And then I sat back down and then, oh my gosh, <laughs> it was, I mean, it hit hard in my, and uh, I mean, I was in pain. I was in agony. Uh, I don't, have you ever had a kidney stone? No, no. Okay. Okay. I've had a kidney stone. And it, it was kind of that level of pain. I mean, it was what? like, it was so like when you're in that much pain, you can't stay still. Mm. You just walk around because you, yeah. you don't know you're trying to get into a position and there's no position you can get into. And when there's no relief when you get into a position, you realize, well, this isn't working. So, and the boys are just kind of like, uh, are you daddy? Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> so I go lay down in the bed and my Face was on fire like like i could just feel heat just emanating off my face and my body i was just covered in sweat and i was just in pain I, and a couple of times i did i went like <laughs> <laughs> and i thought i wanted to throw up i actually leaned over the toilet that would have probably been worse if you, had you were just up. like it would be like the one chip challenge again coming back up you have to do it all over again i was like you know where you do that it was like a belch yeah like a vomity like, belch oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so i'm like over the toilet and nothing's coming out i mean i'm and i'm just like just like i mean pure agony and i was just like so I'm finally, I'm on the bathroom floor on my knees and my elbows. And I have my stomach kind of arched a little bit. And I'm like, just with my head down. And that's, and I have no idea how much time I spent in the bathroom. That's what I did. I just was in there just like, just like. <laughs> on the floor with your back <laughs> arched. Yeah. And, uh, and then it just went away. It just stopped. So I got up and I walked her. I said, okay, all right. I think I'm feeling better. I said, you know, let's go get milkshakes. And Seth looks at me and he goes, daddy, you're pale. And I went and looked in the mirror and I was, I was white as a sheet. Was, so um, anyway, Man. so then I went and got a uh, Reese's peanut butter cup, chocolate milkshake. And uh, I think that helped because I didn't have a, uh, any issues later. Man. So that that must have uh, taken care of it. My favorite part of watching that video on Facebook when he posted it was there was a point maybe about halfway through where like I think David kept asking you questions and you were good about answering them until finally it's almost <laughs> like it's like he was trying to be real like polite to his to his kid and and David he I forget what he asked and, and Mike just looked at it and it's like Mike his brain shifted and he's just like he's like he's almost like wanted to say stop talking to me. I have to concentrate on living at this point and I can't answer you. It's basically what his face was telling his son. It's like, if you say another word, I'm going to either kill you or I'm going to die. And he had to focus right there. And like, I just, she's like, he's like, the tunnel vision's closing. And he's like, I got to just focus on staying alive at this point. And it was just me watching him trying to field questions and stay alive at the same time. Well, did you see too? Seth was manhandling me. He was like bending <laughs> he kept, my head back. And I'm like, Seth, quit bending my head back. Oh gosh. Do you feel your jaw falling off of your body? Uh uh. He's crying. You might, you might want to uh, drink some milk. Uh. Let, let me see this. 
five minutes, 30 minutes. Oh gosh, let me see. Look at his eyes, he's crying. He's literally <laughs> crying. One hour, five minutes, powerless, 30 minutes, supercharged, 10 minutes, powerful. One hour, invincible. Oh, so I'm glad, uh, I'm glad somebody besides me went through that challenge. So your friend Keith Harris posted a great picture of you, a screen grab. It says, this is the face of mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, a bridge too far. Can't go back. It's good. Yeah, stuff. I would never do that again. And I would never recommend anyone do it. Wow. So by far, how long did it take what to it to hit your stomach? Like about 15, 20 minutes. Oh, so you got lulled into a false sense of security. Yeah, I thought uh, I thought it was good. I thought I was good to go. All right. Jared. Okay, so there's something that Jared and I for years and years when we were in uh, Florida would do on our birthdays. Jared and I would always go to uh crazy to buffet. A crazy buffet, which is a Chinese buffet, which was a it was a great place. It was an you know, yeah. upscale Chinese buffet. Unfortunately, it went under. I'm not going to question why, but it did. But <laughs> and what we would do is we'd always start out like it was. If it was his birthday, I'd take him, and if it was my birthday, I, he'd take me. We'd go and we'd always start our buffet with a piece of sushi with a whopping piece of wasabi on it. Yeah, like a just a, like like a quarter size piece of wasabi, like stacked an inch high. It's ungodly amount. And then we take it, we would suffer through it. And everyone around us would be looking at us like we're crazy because we'd be crying. And, uh, and that's how we'd start. And then we'd have, we'd have lunch. Uh, I remember one time I was in there. I remember. And uh, I think I had like an aneurysm. And uh, I'm, sitting, I'm sitting there. And it was one of those kind of like wasabi burns that goes right to the back of your like sinus cavity. Yeah. Uh, you call it the claw. The claw. That's what we said. The claw would get up there like a gasoline claw and get you in the back of your nose. <clears throat> and I remember feeling like a headache and all of a sudden <laughs> Jared looks over and what, what was going on? Uh, Matt's just sitting there and all of a sudden <laughs> blood just starts gushing out of his nose. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> like, like straight up shooting out. Like, like, Chevy it's Chase not, modern problems. Yeah, it's not like shooting. not it's not like a trickle. It was like <laughs> a faucet had turned on. And, <laughs> and I was like, dude, he's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> and he's like, they had cloth napkins. He's like putting the cloth <laughs> napkins. <laughs> and man, but that was a particularly rough batch. That was that a tough day. batch. We, we call it the napalm batch. It was napalm. Because well, you know, some, there was no blood involved in any of okay this. well you know i remember matt had the hit the claw hit him really hard that day and he's like you know he's like breathing heavy he's like oh oh man and then you know he he's just for a few minutes he was fine and then blood. That's, that's normal right <laughs> totally <laughs> normal so totally normal so going back to to our history Maybe I'm not going to say that we're going to, but maybe since Mike's already done this, maybe on the podcast, Jared, maybe you and I should do the one chip challenge. I'll officiate. I will have not. Mike officiate it. I'll not do that again. And he'll have a stopwatch and we'll, we'll see who can make it the five minutes. And oh uh, my and gosh, maybe I'm not. I, look, look, folks. I mean, maybe look, if you want Jared and I to do one chip challenge, post it on Facebook, post <laughs> it on Instagram, let us know. And if we get enough comments, we'll do it. Oh man, but uh, I'm not gonna promise you, but if we get enough people who want us to do it, we will consider doing it. I, I can't in good conscience condone this, but, but you but you would gladly, officially I would gladly <laughs> witness. I'm not saying we're all tricks here on the podcast, but uh, yeah, you have to keep asking us questions or we can get mad at you. Can you see me? <laughs> can you see up! me? Shut up. Oh Shut man, up! but uh, but that's uh look, guys, we're back in season five. I missed recording. It's nice to be back as the only podcast on the interwebs. And we've got a lot of amazing stuff coming this, uh, this season. Can't wait for Dune. We're going to see Bond. We're going to talk about Bond. We're going to talk about Dune. I'd like to talk about 1984's Dune also at some point. Yeah. You know, we've sure. got a lot of good stuff to go over. There's some, uh, some Cobra Kai coming up, I think. Uh, soon. Yeah, the December. Book of Boba Fett. Man, yeah. we've got some holiday stuff we're going to get into. So don't miss out. Every Monday new episode some great new content on our youtube channel we got two youtube channels guys check out the exclusive video 
YouTube channel. We've got some great stuff coming. And uh, don't miss out. We'll see you every Monday. You know you can't live without this content. So subscribe to the Hyperspace, podcasting in the 25th century. Follow us on social media, leave us a review, and join us next time as we take you into the 25th century.